Hi students, uh, today we are going to go over uh, chapter 5, lesson 3 here, which is found on page 388 in your books. Um, so go ahead and turn to page 388 and follow along here. Um, so you may have done this one here for the warm-up. Um, and it's a little bit of stuff we've talked about before, so it's a little bit of review in that way. It says, uh, what is true about the measures of angle 1 and angle 2? So. Um, we've learned about transversals cutting through angles. We see M and N are parallel, right, with those symbols. And then um, those two lines are transversals, which are P and C um, cut through there, right? So this creates a lot of things. So it says, what is true about the measures of angle one and angle two? So we see there are both uh, one and two are both in alternate interior angles. Um, notice how they're both on the inside, uh, alternate, they're kind of opposite each other. So that makes them um, equal, right? because they're alternate interior angles. Number two, what is true about the measures of angle three and angle four? Um, also, we see they are alternate interior angles and therefore are equivalent, okay? So again, three and four, also alternate interior angles, and they are equivalent. It says, what kind of angle is formed by uh, angle one, five, and three? So one, five, and three, what does it happen when you have three angles that when you add them up, it's a straight line? Um, so it becomes a straight line there. Uh, we would call those all three together would be supplementary basically because they all add up together um, to be 180 degrees, right? So three plus five plus one would be 180 degrees because um, a straight line is 180 degrees. Great, it says use information from exercises one, two, and three to draw a conclusion about the sum of the measurements of the angles of A, B, and C. So what can we determine? Um, about A, B, and C. Um, so since we see, thinking about alternate interior angles and things like that, um, or if we were to say, um, um, we notice that our um, C and 3 are going to be equivalent angles, right? Um, we see A and 5 are vertical angles, so they're equivalent, right? And we see B and 1 are also equivalent angles. So therefore, A plus B plus C is the same thing as angle 3 plus angle 5 plus angle 1, um, so that is 180 degrees. Okay, all right, so let's go through here. Um, today we're going to talk more about these things here, um, adding these angles and just kind of finding missing angles um, through that process, right? So think of this as a puzzle where you're trying to find um, missing values of these different angles. Um, it's kind of a puzzle to figure out. It makes it more fun that way. Um, so we do know, hopefully at this point, um, all of the, if we were to add up all the angles, the interior angles of a triangle, they would all add up to 180 degrees, right? So uh, in this case, we have x, y, and z. If you add those up, x plus, x plus y plus z is 180 degrees. Although we are not given what any angle equals, um, we know that together they'd be the same as a straight line, x, y, and z, we'd add them up, that's 180 degrees, okay? Um, as it says, there are triangles formed by three line segments that intersect only at their endpoints. Um, a point where the segments intersect is called the vertex. We call this the vertex where those two intersect. Um, and the angle formed by the segments that lies inside the triangle is an interior angle. So that's another word I use there, interior angle. So X, Y, and Z are all interior. All right, so we look here. It says example one, find the value of X in the Antigua and Bar Barbuda, Barbada, Barbuda, flag. So um, if we're looking here at these different angles, right, they tell us a couple angles, right? They say this is x, what we're trying to find, okay? And we know that um, we have this is um, 55 here, okay? They tell us that. Um, and we know this corner angle right here is 90 degrees, right? because a corner, if it's a perfect corner like that, the little symbol, we know it's 90 degrees. So we have 90 plus 55 is 145. And our total interior of all three angles should be 180 degrees. So um, as they show us there, X plus 55 plus 90 would give us 180 degrees, right? X, 55, 90 would all equal 180 degrees. So if we add them up, we combine these like terms, 55 and 90 gives you 145. So we have x plus 145 equals 180. Now, last step to our uh, solving algebraic equations, 
we have to get all the numbers to one side. So the opposite of adding 145 is subtracting 145. So we subtract 145 from each side, and we say, see, x is 35 degrees. So the value of x there is 35 degrees. All right, great. And so let's do this to find this out. In, let's write this one on the page here. Um, so you guys should be writing along here. In uh, triangle XYZ, the measure of angle X, so that's saying XYZ, that means their interior angles are X and Y and Z. So the measure of angle X is 72 degrees. The measure of angle uh, Y is 74 degrees. So what is the measure of angle Z? So we are going to know XYZ. I like to just sketch this stuff out. I think it's just helpful that way. X, Y, I encourage you to do the same, right? We're adding them up. We said X was 72. I'm going to write 72 and maybe draw since my thing's not clear. That's going to be an arrow here for that space, right? So that's 72. This one uh, we said is 74. Okay. So what is this one? Well, as we know, they add up to be 180 degrees. So all we have to do is add 72 plus 74, and we should get 146. And we take 146. You could say, let me write it out like this. I'll write out my equation. Z plus 72 plus 74 equals 180 degrees. Okay. So um, we don't need that anyway real quick. So... If, there we go. So we have z plus 72 plus 74. So we have um, z, got to click on, off this. We said this was 146, right? Plus z equals 180. We're going to fit there. That's an 8. Sorry, guys. Squeeze for space there. 180. So lastly, to solve this, we want to subtract 146 from each side. And minus 146 there. I do not have space. Sorry, squeezed in the corner there. So we're having 180 minus 146. If you put that in your calculator, beep, 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 we should get z equals 34, if I did that correctly. All right, great. Um, wonderful. Okay, let's try the next one. Moving right along. All right, example two. The measures of angle ABC are in the ratio 1 to 4 to 5. Okay, 1 to 4 to 5. So this is a little bit more challenging. We're going to use algebra to solve this problem here, right? Again, we know all those angles are going to um, add up to be 180 degrees. So uh, in this case here, we know, as they say here, right? Um, so since this is 1 to 4 to 5, that means our second angle, we're going to say B basically, right? If it were ABC, we're going to have X represent A, right? That's the 1. And then B we see is four times the size of A. So that's basically 4x. And then we have C, which is five times the size of A. So that's 5x. So we know 1x plus 4x plus 5x would give us 180 degrees. So if we add those up, of course, we get 10, uh, 10x, right? 9 plus 1x, 10x. And that equals 180 degrees. To solve, we must divide by 10, right? Divide each side by 10, and we get x equals 18. So therefore, if we're trying to find, trying to find out all these angles, we see that x is represents a, so that's 18. We see b is 72, 4 times 18. And we see c is 5 times 18, or 90 degrees. So our angles are 18, 72, and 90, OK? All right, let's try another one like that. Okay. So we have angles in a measurement of LMN are 2 by 4 by 6. Okay. Ratio of 2 to 4 to 6. Okay. So what does that look like? We've got our triangle. 
that's LMN. Okay. And we realize that our ratio is two to four to six. Okay. So again, we'll do the same thing. Two times X, right? For this one, four times X for this one. Again, this should be in your notes or in your book, I mean, and six times X for this one. Okay. So two to four to six, right? And we know all these measure up to be 180 degrees. So we can write those out. I'll write them over here. We have two X plus four X plus six X equals 180 degrees. Okay. We're going to add those up. We see uh, 6 plus 4 plus 2 should give us a 12. So we have 12x equals 180 degrees. So to solve that, we're going to take our 180 degrees and divide it by 12. Okay. And we get 15. So therefore, x equals 15. We're not quite there yet, but we're very close. This is when it really becomes helpful to label our triangle. So we're like, oh yeah, L was two times it, M was four times it, and was six times it. So we just have to multiply each of these like so. So therefore L is going to be two times 15, which is 30. M is four times this 15, right? Four times X, which is going to be 60. And we know n is going to be 6 times 15, which is 90. Okay. So doing two things here, doing a little geometry, angles, um, and a little bit of algebra. All right. All right. Moving right along. Okay. All right, exterior angles. So as it says, the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of its two remote interior angles. Um, so for example, the measure of angle A and B will, met, will be the measure of angle one, right? We know that, why this is the case, right? We know that again, this length between these two here, one and this angle C on the inside, Right? Those should be 180 degrees together. So um, this one here, right? A plus A plus B plus C also equals 180 degrees. So we know, therefore, um, angle A plus angle B will be the same thing as this angle one there. All right. Let me see if I can move my little pink thing over so we can see this whole one. Okay, that'll work. So in addition to its interior angles, a triangle can have an exterior angle. So formed by one side of the triangle and an, and an extension of the adjacent side. Each exterior angle of the triangle has two remote interior angles that are not adjacent to the exterior angle. So it says here, angle four is an exterior angle of the triangle. Its two remote ex interior angles are angle two and angle three, okay? So therefore the measure of angle four is the same thing as two plus three. Again. If we just, you know, if that seems a little complicated, it does sound a little complicated, but really we know one plus two plus three is going to be 180 degrees, right? And we also know one plus this space right here, which is four, will also be 180 degrees because that's a straight line. So therefore, four must be the same thing as two plus three, okay? All right. So once you kind of see how these things start relating, it's like, matrix opens up and we can kind of see how these things are all connected, all right? All right. Let's look at another example here. So suppose the measure of angle four is 135 degrees. So the measure of angle four, which is right here, right? Suppose that is 135 degrees, right? 135 right there. Okay. Uh, find the measure of angle two. All right. Well, if this is 135 degrees, Right, as they are saying in our example, um, angle four is an exterior angle. Its two remote interior angles are angle two, right, and angle LKM. So angles can be measured right if there's three letters like this. 
that means we're taking our two our th three vertices and the one in the center is where that angle really meets right so l k m we have k right there okay so we know um the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle l k m right uh, equals the measure of angle four according to this rule we just said so therefore we know that this angle LKM here, right, uh, right here is 90, okay, um, as it's labeled right there, okay, and we know this is 135, okay, so therefore if this is 90, right, this is 135, we know this plus this is 135, so we have X, they give this X for number 2, they call this angle X, X plus 90 should equal 135, or, excuse me, 135. So we add those together. X plus 90 equals 135. To solve it, we just need to solve an equation at this point. So we're going to subtract 90 from each side, right? And we end up with, this will be 90. We get 45 degrees. So the measure of angle 2 is 45 degrees. Okay. All right making sense hopefully All right other ways to get there again since we know this length is 180 degrees we know that therefore um, we know that this angle one is going to be 180 degrees minus 135 degrees um, so we'd see that would be 45 degrees okay for angle one and then again 90 plus 45 is 135 180 minus 135 is going to give you that for 45. Okay, so we're kind of a couple of ways to get there. Um, just we kind of see these properties of angles and how they relate. It should make it um, not too challenging. Okay. All right, so let's refer to the figure at the right. Suppose the measure of uh, angle 5 is 147 degrees. So that's wrist right here. So this measure is 147 degrees. Find the measure of angle one. Okay, how do we figure this out? Again, think about the alternate uh, interior angles of this guy here. So we have 147. Okay. For this one, um, then we need to find this measure of angle um, one here, right? So how do we get there? Uh, we have, again, multiple ways to get there. So we can write out our equation. So we see the measure of angle two plus um, the measure of angle LKM. Let me just throw it one. Measure of angle two, there we go. Um, plus the um, measure of angle LKM plus the measure of angle one is 180 degrees. All right, we know this is 47. So therefore, we know that angle 1 plus this angle LKM together must equal 147. So we can say 147 plus, I'm sorry, 147 is going to equal, we see LKM is 90 degrees by that symbol. 90, and we're just going to call this angle 1x for this moment, x. Okay, so this angle will be this plus this. Therefore, angle x is, oh, I jumped ahead, let me solve it this way. Subtract 90, subtract 90, and we're left with 57. Therefore, angle x there, which is 1, is going to be 57 degrees, right? 57 degrees. Okay. All right. Okay. Hopefully it's starting to click a little bit. I know I'm running through this quick because I can't make these videos too long. Um, but hopefully that's kind of working for you. Let's see if we can maybe try one or two more here. Okay. If you feel like you got it, go ahead and do it. If not, I'll just practice one or two more here on this guided practice that you are to do anyway. All right. So let's look here. Okay, find the value of x in the triangle. So we said all the interior angles must equal 180 degrees. So in other words, we have 
this you should write down, right? 75 plus 60 plus x equals 180 degrees. So if you add those together, that's 135. Plus x equals 180. Okay, so last thing we do have to subtract 135 from each side. And then we would realize that x must be 45. Okay. That's a 45. All right. Getting it, hopefully. All right. Um, okay. Number two is similar to this one, right? They all add up to be a sum of 180 degrees. We could figure that one out. Let's look at number three real quick. Uh, LMN ratio of one to two to um, one to two to five. So I'm going to say LMN. And again, that ratio means we have x and then 2x, right? x times 1, x times 2, and then x times 5 for this one, right? So if we add up these three angles together, x plus 2x is 3x plus 5x is 8x, right? I could write it all out. X plus 2x plus 5x equals 180 degrees. So it is, again, we add them all up 1, 2, 3, 5. So we have 8x equaling 180. Okay. So if we solve that, we want to divide each side by x, by, sorry, 8. So I'm going to divide 180 by 8. I will use my calculator. I can't think of it off the top of my head. And we get 22.5. So therefore, x equals 22.5. Great. So the angle L is 22.5. This one is going to be 22.5 times 2, which you're going to get 45 degrees. Or sorry, yeah, 45 degrees. And then this one is going to be 22.5 times 5. Okay. And if you got 114 degrees, you're good on that one. Okay. All right, look at one more here. Find the value of x in the triangle. Remember, we said this angle of 123 degrees is going to be equivalent to these two added together. Okay. So we're going to say 123 equals 92 plus x. Okay. Right? This exterior one is going to be the same as these two, some, some of those two together. All right. So to solve, we just subtract by 92. Subtract by 92. And what do we have? One. And, uh, sorry, it should just be the 31 there. All right. We should be just left with 33 and a 1. Okay. So therefore, angle X is 31 degrees. Okay, a couple of basic rules. Um, hopefully, it'll get flying on this in no problem, no time. Okay, so to finish these guided practice and these independent practice ones on the next page. Um, best of luck. Thanks.